Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Qualcomm Ethros Bluetooth driver is not working on your Windows computer. So if you're facing problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to, in case of laptop, unplug the power cable. So just unplug the power cable from the computer and then check if you have a laptop. Now the next step is to shut down your computer and then unplug the power cable. So first of all, shut down your computer. And after you shut down the computer, unplug the power cable and then restart your computer. So in case of laptop, as you have the battery, you can start your computer once again and then check. Now, if in case of desktop, you can shut down your computer, unplug the power cable, wait for some time. You can connect the power cable once again and then restart your computer and then check. Next step is to disable unknown device from device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand Bluetooth. Now over here, if you see any unknown device with yellow exclamation mark, then you can go ahead and disable that device and then restart your computer. So in my case, I have a Realtek Bluetooth adapter. So in your case, it may be something different. So if you see this unknown USB device with yellow exclamation over here, yellow triangle over here, if you see this, you can make a right click and then disable that device. So you can, you will find unknown USB device with this yellow triangle under Bluetooth, or you might find it under universal serial bus con controller. So if you find this unknown USB device, then disable it or you might go to action you can go to action and then click on find the hidden device so if you see any hidden device over here let me show you show hidden devices so go to view and then click on show hidden devices now if you find any drivers or any device which is showing as unknown usb device or unknown with yellow triangle over here, you can simply make a right click and then disable that device. Now, this is just an example. I'm showing you with uh, another uh, device. So if you find unknown USB device, just make a right click and then click on disable. So you will see disable. Let me show you with different. So make a right click. And over here, you can see disable device. So you make a right click. If you see this disable device on yellow triangle, just do it and then restart your computer and then check. If that does not work, you can uninstall unknown device and then restart your computer. So just if you find unknown device in the device manager with yellow triangle, make a right click and then click on uninstall. This is just an example. Just click on uninstall device and after uninstall, it will let you confirm. So confirm uninstall and then restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. So if you find any unknown uh, devices with yellow triangle, make a right click, uninstall it, restart your computer, and then check your Bluetooth. Next step is to run a Bluetooth troubleshooter. Now for this, open Windows settings, and then now if you have Windows 11, click on system, and then you will find troubleshoot. If you have Windows 10, you will see an option update and security. So when you open Windows 10 update, you will see update and security. Click on update and security, then you will find troubleshoot. So go to troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooters or additional troubleshooters. Now over here, you will find Bluetooth. Now if you have Windows 11 in front of it, you will see run options. So click on run. Now if you have Windows 10, in that case, you have to click on Bluetooth, then click on run the troubleshooter. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then check Bluetooth. Next step is to update Windows 10 or Windows 11. So open Windows settings. Now again, go to Windows update or you can go to update and security, then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then check Bluetooth. Next step is to disable Bluetooth in device manager. So go to device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager to open device manager. Now expand Bluetooth. Now over here, 
I have Realtek Bluetooth. So in your case, it might be something different. So just select your Bluetooth device over here, adapter, and then make a right click and then disable this device for now. Disable it. Now, once this is disabled, this is just an example. I'm showing you with a different adapter. You might be having different adapter over here, maybe Qualcomm, Realtek, Intel. So disable it, then restart Bluetooth support, uh, support service. So type in services in window search box and then click on services. Now find Bluetooth support service, make a right click and then click on restart. If you see start, click on start. If you see restart, click on restart. Now once done, now enable this Bluetooth device. Make a right click and then click on enable device. And now you can go ahead and check the Bluetooth. You can now connect to Bluetooth. Now next step is to install install old Bluetooth driver from device manager. So Again, open device manager and then expand Bluetooth. Make a right click on your Bluetooth adapter and then click on update driver. Click on browse my computer for drivers. Now click on let me pick from, from a list of available drivers on my computer. And you can select generic Bluetooth adapter or if you have any old adapter mentioned over here, you can select it. So if this is selected, you can select this. If this is selected, then you can select this and then click on next. So try different uh, adapter over here. Try different driver. So in my case, I have only two. So in your case, you might find multiple drivers over here. So you can try different old one and then click on next. And after the installation, restart your computer and then check your Bluetooth. Next step is to uninstall Bluetooth device from device manager and then restart your computer. Again, open device manager. Now make a right click on your Bluetooth. This is just an example. This is with different adapter. Make a right click and then click on uninstall device. And then click on uninstall. Now after uninstall is complete, make sure that you restart your computer. When you restart your computer, Windows will, during the restart, Windows will install the default Bluetooth driver and then you can check your Bluetooth. Now the next step is to manually download Bluetooth driver from PC manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website and select your model number. After you select your model number, go to drivers and download and find Bluetooth driver on your system manufacturer website. Download it, install it, restart your computer and then check your Bluetooth. Next step is to update your system BIOS. Again, go to your system manufacturer website. So again, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP, go to HP. Whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, go to drivers and download, find the latest BIOS update, and then download it and install it. Now, in case of laptop, when you are updating the BIOS, make sure the charger, the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you're updating the BIOS and make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10%. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the charger is connected to the computer. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. And when it's updating the BIOS, do not unplug the power cable. Let the BIOS update complete and then log into your computer and then you can check your Bluetooth. Now the next step is to perform system restore. So if nothing is working, you can type in system restore in Windows search box and then Click on create a restore point and then click on system restore on the top and then select choose a different restore point. Now over here you will see multiple date and time. So you have to select a date and time on which date the Bluetooth was working fine. Suppose you started facing this problem today, then you can select the uh, date and time for yesterday or maybe day before yesterday. So select a restore point on which date the Bluetooth was working fine and then click on next and then finish your system will perform a system restore and then log into your computer that will take some time and log into your computer and then you can check your Bluetooth. Now the next step is to the last step. This is the last step. If nothing is working, you can use Windows 
इलेवन और विंडोज टेन मीडिया क्रिएशन टूल सो फॉर विंडोज इलेवन यू कैन गो दिस वेबसाइट फॉर विंडोज टेन दिस इज द वेबसाइट so this is for windows 11 and this is for windows 10 so i will provide the link in the video description this is for windows 10 so perform system re, uh, perform update your windows 11 using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log in to your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the problem so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel